twin sisters fall in love with a scumbag at the same time. The man's mouth is kissing Viola, while his right hand is touching her twin sister. Is this some kind of buy one get one free discount? However, these are not ordinary sisters, but a pair of Siamese twin sisters. The one on the left is called Viola and the one on the right is called Daisy. One of them has to accompany the other when she has to go to the toilet. One eats too much and the other gets a stomach ache. They usually seen at weddings and churches as a profession. The two sisters' beautiful singing voices are loved by everyone. The family uses their singing to earn money to survive. Their parents use their disabled bodies as a money-making machine, and they let them travel around to get commercial performances. Often during their performances, people would wonder if they were conjoined, so people often reach out and touch the conjoined parts of their bodies. Some people think that they can bring them good luck and will look for them to take pictures. This is all because of the strange church in this town. They believe that the people are the most important thing, so the priest often invites them to sing for children around the world until they meet a doctor. The doctor reached out and touched their conjoined parts out of curiosity. Then the doctor scolded their parents for making the girls live with disabilities for profit and showed that they had no shared organs. In fact, their bodies could be separated through surgery. The doctor also handed the father a business card, but the father drove him away. At this point, the doctor changed Daisy's mind. She wanted to separate from her sister's body and live a normal life. So Daisy asked her father for the doctor's card in the car on the way home, but he refused. She then argued with her father and was severely reprimanded and abused by him. At this moment, she realized that her father did not love her and her sister at all, but only treated them as the family's cash cow. Daisy didn't stop there. At a singing event, Daisy threatened her father to give in by not singing and not making money so as to achieve her goal. The mother could only show the doctor's card at this point. The sisters saw the doctor's contact information before they sang to bring the show to a successful conclusion. The twin sisters are not only physically conjoined, but also look alike. They could not wear their underwear from their feet, but had to use a string to tie their underwear to their crotch. Because of their physical disabilities, the sisters coerced their father into taking them to the hospital for a physical examination. The test results clearly showed that their bodies could be separated with surgery. They just had to overcome 18 years of symbiotic habits, and the doctors were willing to provide them with free medical care. They only had to pay 20,000 euros for the trip to Switzerland, but the father told them that the family had no money. Daisy gets very angry and has a heated argument with her father. At the same time, Daisy suddenly asked why the two sisters had no money at home when they had earned 8,000 euros from singing last year. Daisy went on to scold her father for losing all the money in gambling. It turns out that a large part of the money earned by the two sisters had been distributed by their father to other family members, and the rest of the money was supposed to be saved for them. But the father lost all the money in gambling. The mother at first did not believe that the father would do such a thing, so she opened her wallet and found it was cleaner than her face. She was angry too, but her mother was no better than her father. Her mother used all the money she was given to buy luxury items. The whole family squandered the money the twin sisters had earned. So the next day Daisy, who had no money and wanted to be free, stole a motorcycle and a cell phone and drove Viola away. But the motorcycle broke down in the middle of the ride. They had to choose to walk. After a long day of walking, Viola, tired and hungry, threw a tantrum at Daisy and said she wanted to go home. Daisy then picks up the pieces and prepares to force her to change her mind by hurting herself. However, Viola blurted out that she didn't want to have the surgery. She was afraid that Daisy would leave her behind if she was separated from her. At this point, Daisy realized her mistake and hugged and comforted her sister. After Daisy's reassurance, her sister finally calmed down. They moved on. They had no solution but to seek for a man named Marco who liked Daisy. Marco sent a boat to pick them up and bring them to his private yacht. Marco was very kind and knelt down to take off their shoes for them both. But as soon as the twins enter the cabin, they find the scene inside is rather chaotic and obscene. The sisters were stunned. Soon Marco took them to their room and started to pour them alcohol. Viola refused to drink. Daisy was happy to drink. Then Marco starts to touch and arrest them. Marco has an obsession with the disabled. Daisy sees the disguise of the man who likes her first. She uses the excuse that she wants peach tea to distract him. Then she pulls Viola out of the room. This father drove his twin daughters to jump into the sea and cut their hands with a knife. He lets the conjoined sisters continue to make money for him. It turns out it was all because the father wouldn't pay for the twins body separation surgery. They both had no money and had to seek the help of a man. However, Marco was a scumbag and wanted to assault them. 
so they had to jump into the sea to escape even though they couldn't swim, they both struggled in the water. Gradually, the sisters lose consciousness and sink deeper and deeper. They drifted in the sea for a long time and were only rescued by their father the next day. But they were rescued as if they were walking corpses with no support or help from anyone. And the father cut their hands with a knife to let countless believers touch their wounds so that he can profit from this activity. And the poor saints longed for good luck by touching their bodies and to touch the blood on their hands to stop being poor. So they all surrounded the sisters and pressed hard on the sisters' wounds to get more good luck. At this point, the sisters could no longer feel the pain because they were desperate both for their parents and for the world. The two were like puppets, allowing the believers to touch their bodies without saying anything. Finally Daisy couldn't take it anymore. She took the knife and stabbed herself in the chest. Her sister was terrified and hugged Viola, crying in pain. When she woke up from the hospital bed, she found Daisy was no longer with her. Worried about her sister's condition, she dragged her frail body from room to room searching for her. Finally she found Daisy whose body was intact. She went into the ward and lay beside Daisy and hugged Daisy from her back. The twin sisters were finally free and healthy at this moment. My heart goes out to these two girls. They have wasted 18 years of their lives, lost their healthy and free bodies, and were used as money-making machines. In fact, it's not scary to have physical defects, because what's more scary is the parents who treat their children as money-making machines.